Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to walk you through a step by step guide on how to use Stellar Migrator for Exchange. To move mailboxes from on premise exchange server to exchange online and vice versa. Whether you are an IT administrator or just curious about the migration process, this video will give you a complete hands on demonstration from downloading and installing the tool to migrating the mailbox successfully. Stellar Migrator for Exchange also offers a free trial which lets you migrate up to two mailboxes for free and all you need to do is register to activate your trial and start migrating those two mailboxes at no cost. So once you uh, see once you land on this page you have an option for the free registration no credit card required you have to give your first name, last name, email ID, phone number, company name, all these details and register. So once you register it, you will have to validate your email ID and download and install the software. Use login credential to start the migration. Let's start by downloading the tool. I'm heading to the official website of Stella to make sure we are getting it from the trusted source. Once the download is complete, Let's run the installer. The installation we said is pretty straightforward. Click next and accept the license agreement. Choose your installation path, then hit install. Once the process finish, click finish to launch the tool. It launches the tool. Here you have, you can either uh, migrate from the M365 to Exchange Server or Exchange Server to Microsoft 365. In this demo, I select to migrate Exchange Server mailboxes to Microsoft 365. I provide the job name as job2. Here now we are connecting the source. To connect the source, either you have to give the IP address of the Exchange server or the FQDN of the Exchange server. I copy the Exchange server name and paste it over here in the Stellar tool, migration tool, and paste it over here. And here you have to provide the email address admin at joyroot-jojo.com. This is my email address. So I provide it over here and provide the password and validate it. Once the validation is over, it will list all the mailboxes in that exchange server environment. And you have an option to upload the CSV file and load the, all the mailboxes. The next step is to connect the target. Here you will have to log in to the M365 admin center with the credentials. Assign Microsoft Graph API permissions, grant admin consent for Microsoft Graph API permissions. So, in fact, we are connecting our Exchange server to, we are building an API permission. We are building a bridge between Exchange server and Microsoft 365. So, it may take some time. Yes, it's successfully completed. Let's click on OK and click on Next. Now it will load all the mailboxes in the target environment, which is Microsoft 365. Whatever mailbox mailboxes are there in my garden villa, which is the target mailbox domain, it will list all the mailboxes in Microsoft 365 environment. Presently, it is loading, it is listing the mailboxes from the Microsoft 365. Yes. Now you could see all the mailboxes that is part of the Microsoft 365 environment. Again, you have the option to load mailboxes through CSV. Automatically, it mapped the mailboxes from Exchange. Let me select abir at gardenvilla.com and map that with admin at joyroutjojo.com. Post mapping the mailboxes, you have an option to date filter. Choose the appropriate filter you want to apply while migrating the mail to the target server. You have an option to migrate all items 
or migrate items older than some particular date if you want to migrate items only the old mails which is from 2023 only those mail you want to migrate you have an option to migrate that or migrate items not older than some particular date which means you want to migrate the mails only from this year mails you want to migrate you can do that and at last you have an option to migrate only item from one particular day to the other particular date for example from first july 2024 to till date if you want to migrate you can do that and click on next and here you have an option to folder type filter following migrate the following folder types either emails contacts if you do not want the contacts you can remove that task if you do not want you can remove that calendars migrate the following special folders like junk email if you do not require you can untick that delete item also you can untick it drafts you can untick that so according to the whatever you required whatever folder you required you can tick or untick over here let me click on next this will take max concurrency choose the maximum number of concurrent mailbox allowed during the migration increase the number of mailboxes may not increase the overall migration speed so maximum up to 10 mailboxes you can migrate at the same time but as it is mentioned here increasing the number of mailboxes may not increase the overall migration speed it may affect the overall migration speed so better you can select accordingly and click on next and you can click on finish so presently the job has been created and it has not yet started if the migration progress if you check it out you could see it is not yet started all right let me click on start the job so it it start running and it is about and, and the migration process you could see as in progress slowly item by item it's it gets start transferring from on premise to microsoft microsoft 365 calendar contacts calendar birthdays and all the items it start migrating to microsoft 365 it, it is it may take some time the time depends upon the size of the mailbox if the mailbox is huge then it takes time accordingly as this is a test environment i do not have much email the size is very less so it will it may not take much time to migrate great the migration got completed all the items got migrated to the microsoft 365 now let us log in to the 365 admin admin user which is 365 user mailbox user who is mr abir at gardenilla.com let us log into his mailbox and we could be able to see his own inbox and all the migrated mails from admin at joyrootjojo.com so i am logging into abir's outlook so in his outlook we could be able to see all the mails from joyrootjojo.com which is admin at joyrootjojo.com and at the same time his own inbox mail yes here you could see the mails from jijo janet murali these are the joyroot-jojo domain which is on premise domain uses and their emails let's check uh, rajesh Rajesh K's email. You could see it is sent by sent to admin at joyrootjojo.com. So that is how you can easily migrate mailbox from on-premise Exchange to Exchange Online using Stellar migration tool. In conclusion, Stellar Migrator for Exchange proved to be reliable, user-friendly, and efficient tool for mailbox migration between on-premise Exchange and Exchange Online. I really like how it simplifies the entire process with its interface and step-by-step -step approach, making it accessible even for admins who are new to the migration task. If you are a new admin, you do not have much idea, even it has simplified for you to act. 
The performance was stable and ability to migrate multiple mailboxes in batch saved a lot of time. Overall, I would say this is solid choice if you are looking for a hassle-free migration experience. Definitely worth considering for your exchange project. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. We will meet in the other video. Till then, goodbye.